Hummer H3 is the latest and perhaps the most successful model of the legendary division of GM. This SUV, which appeared in 2005, combines amazing charisma and remarkable off-road abilities. Its design is simply unique by modern standards, and its excellent maintainability is unlikely to make even an inexperienced serviceman frown. However, the question of how often the new owner will have to visit the service station still remains open. As mentioned earlier, the Hummer H3 is structurally unique. It has a rigid steel frame, a front torsion bar suspension and a rear axle with leaf springs. All this is nothing more than the legacy of the donor, Chevrolet Colorado. Add to this the time-tested four-stage hydromechanics, low-speed engines designed in the 90s and we get a theoretically indestructible device. But this is only theoretical. In reality, everything is somewhat more interesting. The fact is that H3 was assembled from ready-made kits here, in Russia, at the Avtoda Kaliningrad plant, and the process itself, apparently, took place after a stormy night of workers with conversations on the topic, who respects whom. The consequences of such a game of constructor could affect all nodes and assemblies. But, as a rule, most of all got the electrical parts. The most common, almost universal troubles were fogging headlights and oxidized wiring connectors. Therefore, after buying in services, it is recommended to immediately deal with their ceiling. In fact, the younger Hummer has only two body problems, narrow wheel arches and incredibly small loophole windows, stylized as a military concept. Both of them serve the same purpose, to limit the view. If everything is clear with the windows, then in the case of the arches, the situation is as follows. After rain or rides, the car splashes itself with mud so much that even the roof becomes stained, there is nothing to say about the windows. So you have to move by touch, trying not to ride on the roofs of cars on the road, and not to fight lampposts in the parking lot, given that the body panels are pretty decent. The undercarriage inherited from the Chevrolet Colorado H3 does not present any surprises. It is understandable, this is not some McPherson from a crossover. The front torsion bars and rear springs are extremely durable, and the powerful steel frame is able to endure any conceivable load. However, there was still a weak spot. Ball joints, like most modern SUVs, hardly go beyond the threshold of 100,000 kilometers. The steering on the cars of the first years of production also did not differ in good reliability. But after the modernization of the steering rods, the problems are almost over. Only intermittent knocks remain, the fault of which is often the wear of the steering shaft cross. The range of engines, traditionally for the United States, consists of gasoline units of a very solid volume. The youngest and most common was a five-cylinder inline aspirated, with a volume of 3.5 liters, 220 horsepower. In 2007, another inline five appeared, 3.7 liters, 244 horsepower. The crown of the range was the V8, with a volume of 5.3 liters, 305 horsepower. All engines are distinguished by excellent traction properties and picky fuel quality. The price for such omnivorousness and good lows, of course, was fuel consumption, which, depending on the engine, ranges from 17 to 30 liters per 100 kilometers, rarely enough there were instances with the inscription check engine. Such troubles were the result of a failed oxygen sensor or catalyst. There were two boxes to choose from, 5 MKPP or a 4-speed automatic. The first option was set only with 5-cylinder engines and is quite rare. In addition to a tight clutch pedal, nothing is known about the mechanics. The automatic which is installed on almost all instances, is distinguished by an archaic design and, in this regard, good reliability. In some cases, oil seal leaks were noted, but, as a rule, these problems were eliminated by the first owner. Hummer H3 is an outstanding off-road fighter. It is equipped with permanent all-wheel drive, rear interwheel and interaxle 100% differential locks, and the Adventure version also has a front differential lock. Cars, so seriously prepared in the standard, can be counted on the fingers of one hand of a person working with a circular saw while intoxicated. But there are two more versions of the demultiplier with gear ratios of 2.64 and 4.03. There are not many problems with the all-wheel drive part. Basically, they relate to the leaky seals of the transfer case and its penetration when the standard protection fails. That, in fact, is all. Cars like the Hummer H3 can't just be measured with a ruler. You can either love them or hate them, and each potential buyer must answer this question for himself. If the decision is positive, then H3 will not remain in debt.